Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this one another problem. In this problem, it is said that determine the moment of force F about point O, about point A, and about the line OB. Right? So we are required to determine the moment of this force F about this point O, about this point A, and about this line. Right? So first what I will do is that I will determine the moment of this force about point A. Right? So the moment about point A will be equal to again we can use that cross product method that is the vector method. So this will be R cross F. So let's say that uh, for M A the moment arm is let's say R A. Right. So we have to define this moment arm right this position vector. So the moment arm is any vector from the point of rotation to any point on the line of action of this force right. So let's say this is that R A. Right, if we extend the line of action of this force F, so it will intersect this R A. So this is that R A, right? So now, if if I write this R A as a Cartesian vector, so then this R A will be equal to since this R A is only acting in the positive x direction and it and its magnitude is A, which is given, right? So we can write that this is plus A I, and it has no components along y and z axis, so we can write that this is plus 0j plus 0k right and similarly this force f is acting in the positive y direction right and its magnitude is f so we can write that this is plus f j it is acting in the positive j direction right so we can write this as a determinant form right so this will be i j and k and R is A 0 0 and force is 0 F and 0 right. So now we can take this uh, determinant we can determine this determinant so this will be equal to so this is 0 times 0 so this is 0 I right and this is 0 J and this is A F a into f k and this is 0 right. So we can say that this m a moment about point a its magnitude is a f and it is acting in the positive k direction right. So by our observation we can see that this force f is only producing the moment about the z axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive k direction so that is why we have that. Uh, k only k here right and the magnitude of this moment about point a will be f times this uh, perpendicular distance right so this is a f so this is the moment about point a similarly to determine the moment about point a again we will use that cross product method so the moment about point o will be equal to r o cross f so again we will uh, define our moment arm from the point of rotation to the line of action of that force f right. So now this is r o. So as we can see that this r o has uh, two components it has it is one component in the x direction this is r o x and it has one component which is acting in the positive k direction right and this is this is r o z right. So I can write that r o vector R O Cartesian vector is R O X magnitude is A right. So we can write that this is A I and 0 J since it has no component in the y direction and it has one component which is acting in the positive z direction and its magnitude is uh, these are vectors right and, and the magnitude of this is C right. So we can write that this is plus C K. So this is R O vector. This is I J and a a 0 c and the force is again that same force f which is 0 f and 0. So for i this is uh, 0 into 0 and minus c f so we can write minus c f i. 
this is a into zero and this is zero so zero j and and this is a f so plus a f minus zero so this is k right so from this we can say that this force f is producing the moment about the x axis from inspection we can say that this force f is producing the moment about x axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative i direction and the magnitude of that uh, moment about the x axis is, is c time f right so this is c f and the thumb is pointing out in the negative i direction right and similarly this force f is parallel to this y axis so it will not produce the moment about the y axis since we have zero here right and this f is producing the moment about the z axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive k direction so we have that positive k and the magnitude of the moment about the z axis will be a times f so we have that a times f right so now we can say that the moment about point o is equal to minus c f i plus 0 j plus a f k and similarly in this particular problem we are required to determine the moment about line o b right so the moment about o b line the magnitude of the moment about o b line will be equal to m o and we will take the dot product with the unit vector along O B, right? So this will give us the magnitude since it's a dot product, since it's a scalar product, so it will always gives us the magnitude of that uh, moment about that O B line, right? So we can write this is our M O. To apply this equation, first we have to determine this uh, unit vector along O B. So I can write that unit vector along O B is equal to O B vector divided by O B magnitude, right. So now let me draw that O B vector. So this is our O B vector. And the coordinates of this point B is, uh, if this is the origin, so to reach this point B we have to travel A distance along X and we have to travel B distance along Y. And since this point B is in the xy plane, so its z coordinate is 0. There is no need to travel along the z axis, right, to reach this point B. So, this unit vector along OB, so we have to subtract the coordinates of this point O from this point B, and since point O is origin, so we can write that OB vector directly. So, this is AI plus uh, BJ plus 0K and then we have to divide it by magnitude so the magnitude will be a square plus b square and then we will take the square root right so this is that uh, unit vector along ob so now i can write that this uh, magnitude of the moment along ob about that ob line is equal to mo so mo is we can write that mo is minus cfi plus 0 j plus a f k and we will take the dot product with this will be a i plus b j plus 0 k divided by a square plus b square right so we need to take the dot product i can write this a square plus b square outside so we can write it as a square plus b square and then the square root and then the dot product right so uh, this will be we will multiply i with i right so this is minus c a f i dot i is 1 right and again this 0 into b j dot j will be the 0 times b is 0 right so and this is a again this is 0 right so a f and here we have 0 right so we will be left with this magnitude right this is we can write that the magnitude of the moment about that ob line is equal to minus c a f divided by a square plus b square and the square root and if you want to determine the the vector 
the Cartesian vector of the moment about that OB line. So, then we can write that M O B uh, vector will be equal to M O B magnitude times the unit vector along O B. So, this will give us the uh, moment vector about that line O B. So, now we know this magnitude. So, this magnitude is minus C A F divided by A square plus B square. This time it is simple multiplication, right? This is not the dot product, remember. So, this is simple multiplication. So, again we have that uh, unit vector along O B line. So, this is A I plus B J plus 0 K. a square plus b square and square root. So, we can multiply both of these. So, the square root uh, we cancel out. We will be left with this vector, right. So, this is the Cartesian vector of the moment about that line OB.